Don't go in there! How could you leave your mom like this? You always do! Oh, oh, I feel Australian! And I'm a moron! Who doesn't give a darn minute to clean up this place? <laughs> Daddy, yes? Give yourself a heart attack. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm going to get you banned from doing any fun with your friends forever! That is right, young lady. You just don't get it, do you? Sure, people have to learn responsibilities, but some people don't. One day, you'll regret it, and then I'll do the favor when you get older, when you have wrinkles and white hair. <clears throat> oh my god! I just want you to learn some respect around here! Really? Yes, really! Now I'm gonna go outside. And don't even think about leaving the room before cleaning it. Okay. Now, um, Miss Green, as your Uncle Rainbow, uh, I just want you to learn your lesson about threatening your own parents. Because what you said back there was very evil. And, uh, and very mean, too. I mean, he's your father. Well... I mean, it felt good and all, but maybe you're right. Good. Just keep cleaning your room, okay? Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, your mom says you're grounded. Sorry! Oh! Young lady, what are you doing in there? Oh, why does my daddy hate me? Ah, I can't wait to move out of here. Grow up and do whatever I want. after two years, she always does these things to us. I mean, seriously, she's almost like 19 years old. She's already 18 years old. Uh, in fact, well, maybe we should try something new. What if we ruin Mr. and Mrs. Green's relationship and she'll stay our little girl forever, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good idea. <laughs> Don't laugh like that ever again. Okay, sorry, dear. Now, all right. So, what is the one thing we know? Well, we always discipline her. What if? We were to <laughs> make her our little girl again. That way she'll want to learn her lesson. <laughs> I have a better idea. What if we convince Mr. and Mrs. Green to stay with us so we be perfect families so that we'll always have to look out for each other? Oh, yeah, that, that's a very good idea. That That's better. By ruining their relationship was a little harsh. Yep. On the inside, she's still a delicate flower that needs very good attention to. Well, uh, he does have a point. Yeah. 
That's a pretty good idea. Let's do that. Yeah. And uh, we could play board games like Twister. And then we could play Sorry. And we could play Checkers. And then, which is not a board game, is that we'll do Truth or Dare. Okay, so what is this now? We're going to play a game of Checkers. Then we'll play Chess. Then we'll play Sorry. And then we'll play Truth or Dare. We'll stay together as a family. Really? You're saying that maybe we can be happy for once? Yeah. I mean... I told her a lesson about threatening people. Oh, good. Well, that's very nice. Okay, we'll play. So, one thing we should do is set by the rules. We stick to the rules first, then we can play the game. I mean, you're correct. Let's play Truth or Dare first. Miss Green, Truth or Dare. True. Are you adopted? What? Am I adopted? I mean, I don't look anything like my parents, so you must be adopted. Oh, so that means... Wait a minute, you mean all this time she was adopted? Wait a minute. That means... Oh, wait a minute. Why didn't you tell me? Because it's none of your dang business. No, calm down, Mr. Green. What happened before? Oh, you're never going to stop, are you? It all started a long time ago. A young adult when I had a good life. I had a pretty good Honey, love. I, I should have asked you this a long time ago. Will you be my bride? What the? What is this? A baby? He must have gotten lost. What if we do? What if we took care of it? Then we'd be a perfect family. The greatest one. Think about it. Our child will be the smartest person. We'll adopt him. We'll even tell the greatest lies. No, 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 no. Um. Okay. You do have a point. I mean, we'll have a new family right after the wedding. The kid will be ours. It's okay. Come here. I'll call. I'll call you, Miss Green, because you're the beautiful, colorful sock puppet I have ever met. Yes. Let's bring it inside. Yes. Let's. Till that day, she betrayed me. She became an irresponsible teenager. Wow! How? How did you? I promised I wouldn't do this. <laughs> From now on, when we get married, I'll call you daddy. Uh, okay, l l let's not get that crazy. Daddy. Uh, you know, honey, I didn't want to tell you this. Where are my real parents? Who knows? But you'll always be our adopted dog. I love you. I love you too. Oh. 
Oh, how could we have been so stupid after all these years? Well, I mean, maybe playing Truth or Dare was a terrible idea. Hey, who wants to play checkers? Oh, I do. Me too. Me three. Holy shimoli! <laughs> hey, I'm a certified word cops, man. Are you? Oh, I forgot you're a ghost. I wish you'd be back to life so I can hit you. Cops, man, you can't expect a ghost to feel anything when cops are technically alive, can you? Well, ghosts are supposed to have unfinished business, I suppose. Now, don't worry about it. Who told you she was adopted? Her daddy? Unfortunately, yes. She told the truth. She learned the terrible truth, but we all forgiven it. Well, so would have been me, because he lied to a daddy like that. Who does that? I, I can explain this, man. I, I just, I just need some time. <laughs> oh, come on, there, Martin. You're not making any sense. You're the one who's not making any sense around here. <laughs> oh, I just need some alone time. Well, if you insist. Jay Combs, man, what am I going to do tomorrow night? The same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. Oh, come on. You always do this. I mean, we haven't had a puppet show video for over... A few months. True. He's got you there. Mm, definitely. You know, we both sound the same, but with different sounds. Holy shamoli! She was adopted? What, what kind of idea is that? I know, Mr. Green told me that too. Um, I don't know if you realise this, but I think I already know what's going on. You see, we're just gossiping all over and over and over again. Well, gossiping is good for villains, but not for good guys, ain't it? Because all four of us are the bad guys here. True. I don't understand why her parrot kept this a secret for years. 18 years, yes. Uh, what are we gonna do about that, Corpse Man? Yeah, Corpse Man, uh, don't you have any other ideas? Well, there are a few other plans I forgot to mention. Are you all pondering what I'm pondering? Yes, I am. Well, I think so, Corpse Man. But don't you need a swim for to play Marco Polo? Oh, that one never gets old. Well, at least one of us knows what I'm pondering about. Alright, we take the fake parents and find the real parents so that they can live with them and they all beat them up, right? Yes, and then she'll have to stay a family forever so Mr. and Mrs. Bag won't have to deal with her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. Um, isn't that a good idea? Or a bad idea? Yes. But once we get through with this, it'll be the other. Gors! Holy shimoli! What? Who told you that? It's the Queen did, after Mr. Bag told him the truth. So that's why he doesn't look anything like his parents. Well, obviously, the adoption thing is pretty obvious. You know, the adoption papers, and the taxes, and child support. Gorge, this is completely nuts. 
what kind of person would lie to their daughter saying that she was given childbirth to two bags? I know. I can't believe the nerve of that man and the woman. I, I just don't feel right right now. Us either, but uh, we really got to do something. What if we bring her real parents? What if we find them first and bring them to her? And then it'll be all over. Um, you know what? Maybe Corpse Man and the Ghost are wondering the same thing. Well, obviously, I overheard their conversation, so they must be planning to do that. Well, not if we find them first. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, this is one more thing I don't understand. Um, how come you turned into a sock puppet in another dimension, and then in your own dimension, you turned back to normal? Well, I appear in two shows, I guess. Well, uh, that's understandable. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I know. I know. Attention, everyone. We have heard from Earthlings that one Earthling was adopted by two other Earthlings, Mr. and Mrs. Bag. We received a message from him. Wow! I never realized that! <laughs> Stop laughing, you great freak! Oh, come on. Everyone wants to mellow out. It's probably just a coincidence. It all started 18 years ago. Oh. Come on, how do you know that? Because... Yeah! I love doing that. You know, some of us characters from different videos sound like Peter Griffin, you know. Well, that is true. I mean, Cloud sounds like Peter. Talking Ben sounds like Peter because of this Elijah Stanton person. Because Seth MacFarlane's voices of the characters inspired him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, very true. What we need is a perfect way. We'll visit them and celebrate their own perfect anniversaries of the adoption. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? But do we have to get to the real world? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> okay, the parents of Miss Green gotta be in the real Hey, let's make a man-sized poop in their toy box and so they think there's something really wrong with them. Oh, come on! All right. Let's split up and search for... For clothes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. Come on, Blue! How did... Private green alien, no, I was gonna say that last sentence at the end. Maybe because you always say it. True. Hello? Hey, uh, I'm looking for a Mr. and or Mrs. Bag. Have you seen him? Yeah, this is Mr. Bag. What is this? Well, uh, I received a call from two people saying that they're real parents of a Mr. Blue or Miss Bag or... Wait, Miss Green, did you say? Yes. Why? I have her! I have her! She's in my house right now! Send her my address! Well, okay then. Then you're all set. Oh, God. I'm free! I'm free! Attention, everyone! The parts in the auditorium for me! Wait a minute. Did they get a phone call from the police or something? I don't know. 
but this is really suspicious. How does it look very suspicious? He wants us in the puppet world right now. Gorge, he's got a point. Oh, uh, all right. Since he has an announcement, we'll just go. Okay, everybody. The moment you all been waiting for. Meet the real Miss Green's parents. <laughs> Hello, we're Miss Green's parents. Yes, sir. Diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly do. Uh, why do you sound like a bunch of characters? Well, come on, doodly dee, doodly dee, doodly dee, doodly dee. He could come up with voices of any character he wants, which includes voice impressions of every cartoons on TV. Well, he does pretty good impressions. Yeah, and I get to be voiced by Miss Piggy. Kirby. Kirby! <laughs> no! Alright. Ask us why you wanted to leave your real daughter at our front door. Look, we had no choice. We've wondered if the real world could be scary and filled with danger. So we decided to put him in your room to protect her. We had our friends with us, but they were sacrificed. So... Where's our real daughter? And thank you for taking good care of her. Oh, young lady, get over here. There's someone here who would really love to meet you. Ah, there she is, our own daughter. My real parents, mommy and daddy. Diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly do. Yay! Our real daughter! Come give your sweet mommy a hug. Come here. It's finally time. You really came to me. Why did you leave me? Well, uh... How do you tell him? Because, honey, we only did... We only did that because we wondered if the real world was a dangerous place or not for 18 years. So, uh, you're fully grown now. And, uh, well, uh, we, uh, Our old friends were, uh, sacrificed. But, luckily, me and your mother survived. Yeah! So, you and your adopted parents will always come and visit us. Since we're back in our old home. Now, let's go back to our old house for old time's sake. diddle dee diddle diddle do you and your adopted father can come with us, too. Really? You, you mean that? Why, of course. You've been taking good care of her. What has she been doing all these years? Well, uh, you don't want to know. Wow! It's a good thing for a good man to cry. Absolutely. Well... That's nice. Now, can we please stick to our own show now? Yes, for old time's sake. You two are creepy old freaks, corpse man and the ghost. Well, this is a very nice party. Hmm, my house has spotlights and everything. Well, there is always a good time. Like what? Well, have you not heard? Heard what? Oh no. Save and 
Are you done? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>